very close to Ratnagiri and it's very neat and clean and very unique. So we had a small accident when we were on that fort which is called Ratnagiri Fort or Ratnadurga Fort. You must have seen uh, the entire fort in the previous episode. towards Vijay Durga, our next destination and on the way we went to Pavas which is around 16 kilometers from Ratnagiri. The Sri Swami Swarupananda Samadhi Mandir at Pavas has gained much importance as a pilgrimage and lakhs of people visit Pavas every year. The Samadhi Mandir was constructed in the memory of Sri Swami Swarupananda who took a samadhi here. So right now I'm here at Paramahansa Swami Swarupananda's Samadhin Mandir Powers. Because of COVID-19, most of the temples and uh, museums and everything is closed. So I'm trying to visit everything I can. Hey guys, it's Shriti Chhota and welcome back to my channel Secrets of India Shriti. If you like my videos, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your family and friends. Also click the notification bell beside the subscribe button. So the roads were not good so we didn't take any risk and we decided to stop here. Uh, it's a small village called Adivare and uh, we decided to stop near a temple so we can visit this temple. It's really cold in the morning and the night, but in the evening and afternoon, it's um, normal temperature. But whenever you come here, just make sure you bring some jackets because you'll feel really cold when you wake up in the morning or go for a walk in the morning. One of the oldest and most popular temples in Ratnagiri. The Mahakali temple, home to goddess Kali, is suited approximately 35 kilometers away from the main city in a village called Adivare. Hundreds of devotees visit the temple daily, while the numbers hit over a lakh during the Navratri festival. The main temple area also houses two separate sanctum sanatoriums for goddess Saraswati and goddess Lakshmi. I was told that originally Mahakali Devi was found at Vati, but Devi wanted to settle at Tintita, place where three roads converge. The mandir is located exactly at the same place. It is a well-maintained temple and three goddesses Mahalakshmi, Mahakali and Saraswati are settled over there. So right now we are here at Mahakali temple and it's really beautiful and amazing. It's really quiet here and it's not even really crowded. So I would suggest you to come in the morning because at that time the place is completely empty and you can still have a good darshan of this temple. We also saw ancient world of snake on right hand side when we face goddess Mahakali inside the mandir. The five gods, Sri Yogeshwari, Sri Mahalakshmi, Sri Mahakali, Sri Maha Saraswati, and Sri Ravalnath are situated in this temple premises. So they also have a well here, and this is sort of a bucket. And then after it fills with water, they bring it up, and like that, they can get the statue of Sri Mahakali is made up of black stone and is known to be facing southwards. The goddess wears a necklace and a crown holds the Damru, Trishul, Talwar and the Panchpatra in each hand. 
द मयूर शेबिका प्रोसेशन लोकली कॉल्ड एज पल की क्रिएटेड बाई द डेवोटीज ऑफ द गॉडेस बाई यूजिंग ट्वेल्व के जीज ऑफ प्योर सिल्वर इज अ मस्ट टू सी ग्रैंड सेलिब्रेशन आर कंडक्टेड ह्यूर ड्यूरिंग द नवरात्रि फेस्टिवल In the year 1130, a mention of the Adivari village known as Atiwari can be found in the Dan Patra given by Bhol Raja of the Shilahar dynasty. This means that the Adivari village has been in existence since that time. The temple came into existence in the year 1324 in the Adivari village. It is so believed that the respected Sri Shankara Charya established this temple. This temple was built by Chakravarti Shivaji Maharaj. This area is a very remote area, but they have a stage here and they used to play dramas, etc. Here to entertain the people and give more information about Goddess Mahakali. There are many temples inside the Mahakali temple. There is also a stage in here. So this temple has a bhakta nevas too. So it's really nice for staying for one night or one day. After my darshan, we started our journey towards our next destination, the Vijaya Durga Fort. But the scenery, pristine beauty, and the history of Maratha Empire compelled me to spend more time visiting the beautiful Ambolgar village on the way. So I am here at Ambalagar Fort. There is nothing much to see because it's almost broken down. Shivaji Maharaj built this fort to store his raw materials. that to obtain from the sea root and then he used to distribute these materials uh, there is a beautiful temple shri mahapurush prasanna so i hope you like this video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel secrets of india shridhi Share my videos with your families and friends, and also click the bell icon beside the subscribe button. Comment down below which was your favorite part of this video. Bye. My special journey continues with another planned destination, which I will arrange in my next episode.